in time. Thank goodness. I'm so and sick of again. listening to them speak. Yep. And so you get back and Attorney Dan does walk back with you guys. And he goes, I think that went splendid. We did a great <laughs> job. Hey, great Attorney job. Dan, I have a question for you. How many cases yes. have you won? All of them. Except for one. But that's because the dwarf did kill a man. I've now that's in civil court. All right. Cool. Mm, it's the guy at the oh right behind here as you see like the dwarf that's just like laying on the bed like dead ass asleep this whole time he's just like he's the only one i lost and that's because he was my first case in royal court you guys are my second ding ding stunning yep oh, civil court's oh, much oh, oh. more different than this one though this court's much different but i think we have it in the bag Indeed. Well, seeing as Man, no evidence really has been presented so far, it's really a quite the toss-up. Well, I'll be back. I have to go wait for the announcement. I'm and he disgusted. walks out. I am physically ill. You're physically ill? Yes. This man is so bad at his hey, job. Hey, Miles. Shut Miles, up. if we die, <laughs> um, can you go first? No. Well, actually, if, it, if I don't have to I listen figured. to Laura and Dan, maybe. <laughs> actually, you know what? Let, no, if no, we no, survive no, 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 this, no, no. You've made a very compelling point. You've made a very convincing argument, Ziminar. Wait, what was my argument? That I don't have to listen to uh, the lady or the attorney. The attorney Dan. Yeah, both are pretty awful. Yeah, we were... Can we beat can we beat the crap out of him if we make it out of this? Me and you, Miles. Um, no. It's already too late. I, set the, I already set the reminder with Alexa, so. Um, what? Nothing. <laughs> What's an Alexa? Nothing. And a few hours pass by, and the dwarf that's been sleeping this whole time finally wakes up, and he's just like stretching as the big burly man with him just like looks down and he goes, are you good, my sir? And he goes, I'm fine, Dimbo. It's okay. <laughs> and he looks down. Oh, so you're the talk of the town. The one that killed their, uh, their teammate, yeah? Who's he talking? He didn't kill her. Trust me, I'd be bragging about it if I did. Ah, uh, I didn't believe you guys did either anyways. Seeing I know who really did it. Well, that's convenient. Mm -hmm. Go on. Oh, we all know what happened. It's Prince Hamlet. Everyone goes missing with him. And yet he's the one on the council to decide your guys' fate. You I'd be shocked if it goes know... in your favor. Because no, look at now you guys are all the seminar, mm -hmm. don't give in to treason. Again. I wasn't going <laughs> to give in to treason. I was just going to say, we knew what we were getting into the second we were going to walk in with Hamlet. There was a possibility that something weird could happen, and now it's here. We just got to figure out how to deal with it. That's right. We have an official document. I'm sure that's worth something. Yeah, but you made an elf give it, and you're the one that talks so much shit about elves and dwarves. How did you not see that argument coming? The point isn't who gave the letter. It's it's still an official document, and it's not from... It's not that Jarvis wrote it himself, you simpleton. No, but that's I, exactly I the problem. That, like... They're only blaming Winslow. So of course they're going to be biased against Jarvis, too. Well, I'm fine with it, but that's... The letter is still official. They can't ignore the letter from an They've official They've ignored everything source. else. Well, they haven't presented any evidence to begin with. So it doesn't even matter what they ignore because there's, there's no case against us. So either we have evidence... There doesn't need to be. We're dealing with royalty. Yeah, so That's there's, what happens. No, there's really like nothing we can do. The whole sham is already written. Yeah, we just gotta hope to God we pull something out of our ass. Yeah. 
How the fuck are we gonna get out of this one? Uh, it's fine, you guys. They're talking about all the other boring stuff now. They just send the people back in here while they actually talk about the real stuff in the case. What? That's how royal court works. What? Yeah, no, it's still continuing up there. Right, guards? And one of the what? guards goes, yes, that is true. Now, remind me, but Jarvis is still, uh... Can he They've be all... in the audience, or is he not allowed? Nope, they're all sequestered. Don't. They're not allowed to talk to each other or hear anything about the other testimony, which doesn't bode well for some people, but it is what it is. Hence why I'm shocked they even kept you all in the courtroom together when Winslow gave out his story. Mm. Not that I was there or anything, as he, like, is kind of, like, looking away bashfully with his spear. Either way, as the dwarf pipes back in, they're talking about all the stuff that's actually evidence at this point, but they don't want you guys to know that. Well, they didn't Oh, bother. of course. Hopefully they leave so Lady So, we just uh, had to sit through all that nonsense for nothing? No, you had to be there for that to see what other people were saying about you. And pretty much so the court could get a good look at you. That's what they're supposed to do. They judge your character based on what people are saying. That's why Hamlet's so creepy. But... That doesn't ah, even fuck make any sense. I'm dying in a few days anyways. Well, good the royals for just want to see those who are accused listen to the people's statements. Then other than that, it's the Attorney Dan versus Lady Laura. It's a big show and a big hoop de doo up there. Those two always go back and forth, and uh, I hear they even dated once. Oh, no, they go back and forth now. They pretty much are doing song and dance up there, picking apart each other's faults and their stories and this, that, and the other. There weren't a lot of much... stories to begin with. <sighs> oh, there is. There's a bunch of evidence, I'm sure, that they have that they're going through up there. The issue right. is Dan just makes it a whole facade and Lady Laura just goes with them. They just go back and forth with this crazy Broadway thing that just confuses those that are accused like they did. That was their whole point, was to confuse you and make There's you... There's no react. evidence to go through, because there is no evidence, because it didn't happen. Mm, I'm not well, one to judge Well, I mean, is dead. Well, yes, but... There's evidence to be had, but we have nothing to do with any of that evidence. You know damn well that they have none of it. They told mm. you themselves that they didn't even search the for where the blood was. I mean, this prisoner knows that Hamlet did it. You think they're gonna say Hamlet did it in the in the court? Of course not. So they're not Never. going through evidence, evidence. There is no evidence. It's very political at this point, because you guys are a part of the syndicate too, aren't you? Yes. Hey, wait. Trying to get rid of the syndicate? Not yet. Mm -hmm. They may soon be. I mean, you guys might be out of it soon, which is good. There's been some recent investigations I mean, about them, so, you know. Oh, maybe this is the final anything. straw that would make them get rid of the syndicate. <gasps> maybe. But and we're still members of the syndicate. Could be a strange the same thing that's going to happen the, the rest of the goats. So, yeah. wait, hold on. If I remember right, I, no one could hear me earlier because magic was used in here. That sounds about right. Could... So, um... Why are we still in here, guys? I don't have a spell for that. Not just My that, God. did your guys' uh, pretty prince told you not to do anything? Yep. Yeah, Harold seems like he would be wanting to help us out. Her didn't Harold threaten one of us? No, he threatened... Or was that like, someone else? He threatened he Poop Boy. Yeah. <laughs> you remember him. Oh. No, I mean in the courtroom. Didn't didn't someone like... No, that's the king. Yeah. The king? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I, I, well, you guys I are all friends realize with who was saying that. I mean, if you all are friends with Prince Harold... 
then you guys have at least one vote to keep y'all alive. He has had to convince the king and, uh, the, you know, the one that actually did it. So, you Me? know. Prince hey, Harold wait. looked like he didn't want to even look at us. He never does. Do you think Gilly's gonna... Do you think Illy's gonna t speak ill of us to the king if we kind of took out her hiding spot? That doesn't seem think like her. Think so. Uh, I just hope that she doesn't put her grudge. That's the last one we need. Okay, she likes me. I'll be okay. We'll be fine. Doesn't really seem like her. It, it doesn't, but I don't know. This whole thing Keep seems weird. It feels us. like that's what she it wanted. Feels like she wanted the more travel and adventure. Knows. True. Uh, I feel like the entire royal family knows that this is bullshit, and I don't know why the hell they're still doing this. Yeah, it just because seemed like the king is bored of it. I'm from the forest, and I even know that. They're all about image. That's a lame image. Well, what does this I help don't... improve? They're trying to improve Hamlet's reputation and make all the blame not on him for people disappearing. Well, I don't know that uh, that this really helps that if it's another person in uh, in his entourage that disappeared once more. Even if they, they do lay the blame on us. Because it's in royal court. Sure, sure, but it's still gonna be in his care, you know. Exactly. Really, nothing about that's gonna change. Hmm. But it takes all of the blame off of him. Mm. Uh, depends on uh, the common folk like to uh, believe what they read in the journals these days. Wrong. Ah, uh, whatever. I think I'm gonna relax until we go back in. We'll figure it out as we go. If you're sure. As a few more hours tick by, you guys almost start to ask the guards what time it is, as you've seen two go on different shifts at this point. So it's a new set of guards in here. The dwarf with Dingo has fallen asleep. <laughs> and again, he's just gone right back to bed. And finally, it's supposed to be a playoff of Wendigo. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just Dingo. <laughs> and, um,. At this point, you see the guards tap on your guys' cell saying, Wake up! They've come to a decision. Let's go. And you all are then thrown right back into the courtroom. And Attorney Dan and Laura both are, like, sweating almost. And just, like, ridiculousness. You see Harold just, like, at this point, like... You see the desk as you walk up as you're higher than them at this point. And you see in his desk, he has just, like, stabbed his quill so many times that, like, there's an... Just, like, you could tell that the desk has been, like, stabbed enough to where there's, like, an indent. And he's, like, breaking the desk as you see little wood chip pile next to him. As he's just been... Just stabbing it. The king has fallen asleep. Thank goodness. And... <laughs> I feel for <laughs> Prince him, Hamlet. Prince Hamlet is staring right <laughs> up at you guys. <laughs> Your Highness, as the king like wakes up. Yes, of course. Winslow, Harbo, Zeminiar, Miles, please stand. Grudgingly, okay. You have been found not guilty in this court. For the murder of Sunny Meadows. You have been found guilty, though, in being a part of the syndicate, which is unfortunate because that's where we hired you from. But due to the most recent allegations, we will be stripping you from the syndicate and you will be joining the city guard specifically under our care. I guess that's fine. As pretty much nothing will change. <laughs> 
It seems nothing will change. change. Honestly, you just are no longer associated with the syndicate, so please hand me down your badges. As the guard near you guys just like waits to take your badges. I give it to him gladly. Never wanted this. Hmm. Well, any sentences or reasons why you joined the syndicate before have now been expunged from your record. And you are now under our care. You will be under specific watch for the first few weeks. And we will go from there. As we believe we have found the true killer in Sonny's murder. We will be, of course, deeply sorry that you were placed in this. And compensation will be sent to you along with a burial for Sonny. I hope it's Dan. <laughs> Dan. <laughs> As I hope it's Dan. And at this point, the three of them all get ready to leave. And you all are then taken to the back of the building. Hamlet and the king are nowhere to be found. And you are in the back waiting for a cart with Harold as he stands there with you all. As you all are waiting for a court as free people, not shockingly. I'm still disgusted <laughs> by that whole ordeal. Mm. You missed the best mm -hmm. part. Uh, yeah, the part where the king fell asleep. I was there. <laughs> not just that, where he actually became an attorney. I hate royal court. It's the most begrudging thing of being a royal. It's awful. It's a, such an archaic way of things. I'd love to change it in the future. Indeed, I hope you get the chance. I can't believe your your father didn't even want to be a part of it, and yet... It's for politics. The syndicate's going through a lot. Lady Laura tried saying that you guys were stealing money and this, that, and the other. It was a whole thing. Mm -hmm. she, she didn't would... really seem yes. like she had a case. She didn't, but the guards... Captain Routh specifically was demanding that charges be placed. And why is that? Fuck that guy. I have no idea. He was very, apparently, very passionate about this sunny person. I see. Don't know how, don't know why. He just saw a woman that he couldn't save, and he was just very angry about it from the looks of it. That dwarf, though, that saw her enter the building... Ended up being him, apparently. Really? Yep. Stunning. Weird. Yeah. There was some why, evidence. Why did she... Because uh, where the body was found, there was some feet prints of smaller stature. Which I guess led to I'm then the... You, you're using footprints as evidence? <laughs> this is Whoever trick. That's very Scooby-Doo. <laughs> More so, they saw small feet prints, and they're like, it had to have been a dwarf. A dwarf was last seen with her. It must be them. Christ. So, well, he if that's, rushed so this case. If that's the level of, of uh, detective work that we have in the, our kingdom. Again, they... It depends. Ralph is very hit or miss. He's either on the nose on everything and goes with his intuition... His intuition also fails him, and he gets sloppy. This was beyond sloppy. So, he'll well, probably be relieved of his guard and his title and everything. I'm sure he my looks father... very on the nose against clients who have no good defense for themselves. It. This one was a pretty egregious case of Ralph being unprepared of anything and not answering anything. So. Indeed. It was pretty brutal, and I think Lady Laura knew that. She did the best that she could, but Attorney Dan tends to make it a show all the time. Well, that was an abysmal show. But once you guys leave, that's where the show really begins. He did wonderful defending you guys against everything else. He did his research within three days. I'm proud of him. He did really good with how terrible this was handled. But no worries. Oh my god! As you just hear, like, women screaming from the front. Ah, uh, I guess it just got announced. Well. Announced what? Oh. 
that the uh, little dwarf guy is about to be killed out in the front, and uh, so is Captain Ralph. Oh. Well, Whoa. Well, that's fair. Captain Ralph, too? Yeah. Father must have... He was debating it on his way home, and he must have finally just sent the Herald to tell them to do it. Can we watch? Yeah, really. Sure. For the blessed egg. Can they throw Dan in with it? <laughs> no. No, no. Dan Laura got first. us well. Dan got you guys out of a many a serious things. They were trying to pen the syndicate on you guys. Thank God you're out of that now. So what did As the you walk syndicate up to the do? Front. Oh, they've been money laundering, I guess. Oh. Stealing money from a many a places. You know, I had a feeling they were going to get caught doing that any day now. Any day, for sure. And as you guys walk up to the front, you see the guillotine, like, already prepared and ready. You see the little dwarf man and what was Commander Rolf. He didn't have one. What? Dwarf slave they... one. Oh, okay. You know, that's fair. I, I, you're right. Bingo's friend. They don't need no, names. Wrong, wrong dwarf. <laughs> no, no, wrong this one dwarf. was the one that was, uh, that was Obsessed with on Sunny. the stand, yeah. Yeah. Testifying see... against us. Yep. And as you see, both of them get beheaded. Who would have thought? You're one. Yep. And Woo! both of them get beheaded, and everyone starts clapping, and just in honor that Sunny now has, you know, justice. Peace and justice. Yes, I'm sure all. this is what peace and justice look like. And then right after, every woman notices that Harold's there, and he's like, let us get in the cart that finally showed up. Please get in the cart. After As he you... just, like, rushes in. <laughs> 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 and you all safely get on out of the city and back to Benedict. That was absurd. And on your little cart ride home, you can ask him questions hey, if you want. As you all are free people. Yay! Thank God. Thank goodness. Oh, you all travel back egg. to the castle. I don't remember great. why I put that. So. I never thought I'd be Spirit. happy to see a castle. That's fair. Same. Same. After dealing with Saurus for that many days, my God. Yeah, I don't know. That it looked like you might have been enjoying yourself there. Hmm. Nothing? Yeah. Oh no, she's a pain in the ass. Mm-hmm. She's a pain in the ass. She always beats me in sparring. She tells me I need to learn how to listen. Ridiculous. She's too calm. Doesn't pay attention to detail. Can't stand her. Can't stand her. As he, like, looks out the window and you guys pull on up. And he just kind of gets out of the cart and moves on with his life. And you see Gilly kind of standing at the door and just being like holding her little backpack, being like, oh, my God, you're back. Yay. <laughs> Time for an adventure. <laughs> my turn. I really excited. Caribou gets so excited. He runs up to Gilly and gives her a big hug. Princess Gilly, you're on right. And she just hugs you. I missed you. Yeah. Uh, and she's just sobbing at this point. <laughs> and just Harold overly trying to. <laughs> oh my god, Harold, do I finally get to go on an adventure with them? And Harold just looks at him and he's like, I'm not your father. And he walks away. <laughs> and she's like, I have to go find father <laughs> so we can go on an adventure together finally and find my sister. Oh no. And that, is, and that is where we will end tonight. Oh, uh, yep. Okay, let's see. So and you guys time... level up. Ooh, Yay! Level. What and a crazy level. episode. Okay. It was a whirlwind. And